What was the biggest reason for you signing in, in Philly? Was it Chuck or just Flyers or your brand? Yeah, I think, well, it's funny because I took that year off and then I wasn't really sure what, what I was going to do and, um, you know, what that would look like. But obviously I knew Chuck was uh, the GM here and uh, we, we had a history. He drafted me and um, mm -hmm. kind of knew who I was and what I would bring and so I was just looking for an opportunity, and it happened to be Philly. I was like, "That's great." Yeah, yeah. Right. I feel yeah. like the we my style of play meshes really well with with how you know the city you know appreciates that stuff, and um, obviously how the team wants to play. And so I think you know that was that decision was easy. I mean, but yeah. getting the opportunity in the first place was just kind of the get the, your foot in the door after taking that year off. And so was this after the bubble? It was, yeah. So the year after, I think after the I read. I, I don't know if someone said, but you were like actually contemplating retirement. Yeah, I was honestly. I uh, man, I thank stopped. God you didn't, man. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, seriously, thanks, you're, yeah, no, you're, you're a really good player, man. I, I mean that honestly. But anyway, sorry yeah, I didn't so, interrupt you. No, um, yeah, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. I just uh, that was a, a really challenging year. The year prior to that, yeah. um, just within Minnesota, and then kind of the situation and i only played i think 12 games that year um six for minnesota and then six for yeah. the hawks so and then obviously the bubble hit the pandemic all oh, that yeah. stuff and oh, that was um, great times <laughs> yeah yeah uh, don't miss that <laughs> oh, man. I, when we went back to edmonton all the guys were like oh boy yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah right for um, sure Oh, man. But so yeah, I went to the bubble with the Hawks and um, good experience. Obviously, it's not an ideal situation. Um, didn't play and um, you know I went to camp and it was just seemed something was off. Like I just didn't uh, you know you put so much into it and you kind of get nothing out of it and it was just uh, one of those situations where I I knew I needed to take a step back and just kind of regroup and. I know I've said this before, but like a mental and physical just reset almost. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know whether that looked like getting back into the game. I don't know whether that was like, you know, maybe pushed to a different career path. I, I wasn't sure. And um, a few months went by and uh, of not playing that year. And, um, you know, I started to get that, that itch back and that fire and that, you know, I kind of had that, that break that I needed almost. And, yeah. um, and then it, and then, you know, it, I went into it going, okay, what does this look like then? What does getting back into it look like? And um, have my agent, you know, reach out, reach out to teams. And um, and obviously, you know, Chuck was willing to give me the opportunity, which was which was awesome and grateful for for that for sure. Yeah, and um, for sure. so, and then, yeah, coming into that last year, I wasn't sure. You know, honestly, I was like. I, I'm just happy I'm going to be playing again, you yeah. know, because I um, obviously took that full year off and um, just wanted to compete again, have that camaraderie with my teammates. Yeah. And that yeah, was the biggest thing, sure. too, that, that I missed was just being around the guys and, and you know, fighting for each other and, and you know, that competitive competitiveness. So, <clears throat> um, but, yeah, and then, you know, getting that opportunity to, to be in the opening night, you know, yeah. lineup last year was it was really special. It was you know, it, you know some guys might not be whatever, just another opening night, but right. just kind of going through that. You don't take that it for process. Yeah, no, exactly. Right. Yeah, it was just it was it was pretty special. So that's awesome. Well, well good really for you. Good cool. for you. Yeah, to good for you. Knowledge. You know, you were not not feeling quite uh, on point. Oh, thanks. Appreciate taking it. a step back, I think that's a. That's, that's, I mean, it's a tough thing to do, but it's like it's necessary, you know. Yeah. And and the fact that you were able to regroup and be resilient and actually come back and and yeah, you know and come back I didn't stronger. That. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, neither did that's I. That's awesome. So. That's a great story. Oh, thanks. <laughs>